Good morning, intro before the intro, before the intro, before the video. Uh, welcome back. Trying to do these giveaways. Skipped a little bit between the 180 and where we are now, but all for the better because this is a gem. We are currently starting right now, link in the description, TommyEffie.com, the giveaway for the 33 GTST that I picked up from Revard. Uh, AN0 is the color. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty one. This car is immaculate. So not in this video, but later on we'll detail it. We'll show you every inch of the car and what we're gonna do to it. We were gonna do a bunch of maintenance. It was done 2,000 kilometers ago. So we'll check it. We'll make sure everything's good. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, we don't have to do anything. Dry us, blast it, detail it. Maybe change the wheels. But besides that, she's staying. So you all know it. Got it in Colorado. They haven't done shit with it. Bought it for this purpose. This car is as clean as the low mileage S14 we gave away to kick this whole series off. Um, and I think it's starting a theme where we're doing bone stock, super clean car, built car. Bone stock, super clean car, built car. This is next up after the 180. This is the bone stock, super clean car. So link is in the description, TommyEffie.com. Don't sleep, boys. We have crazy sales because we printed a bunch of hoodies and stuff. Um, and what we're going to do is... We're gonna give them to you at a discount. I choked nut. We're gonna give them to you at a discount, and with that discount, it will not hurt your entries. So normally, it's based off of a dollar amount, but we're keeping it at the original dollar price uh, point. So the hoodies, let's say, were $65. We're gonna do them for 50 to blow them out for the end of the year, but you'll still get the entries as if they were 65. We're doing a bunch of crazy shit on the site. Go check it out. Check out the pricing. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'm gonna do a donut and park this thing because we're about to have a crazy snowstorm. Um, but here it is. Away with it, Mike. Before we begin this video, I want to give a massive thanks to Ridge Wallets. I really like the Ridge Wallet because it's super slim. It has cool designs like this carbon fiber one, and it's made of super durable material that's covered by their lifetime warranty. If you want to get your own Ridge Wallet, be sure to check out the link in the description and use my coupon code for 10% off. So go check them out and let's get on with the video. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, the OGs, which aren't really that OG, will remember we got this car from Platinum Mike Perry over the summer. We saw what happened to it and uh, he told me his budget, we went through everything and I was like, you know, we are in the business of restoring skylines and making money and profiting and feeding families and whatnot, but I try to always advise customers against going backwards, going upside down. So um, with this car, I told him the money he wanted to spend and the money he had to spend, it, it was, it was plenty to get this done. It was more than we needed, but is it worth it? So after talking to him and like, I didn't want to crush his dreams. I didn't know how he felt. I was like, I think you'd be better suited taking that money and buying like an R35 GTR instead of messing with a GTS4. If you don't know, uh, this car is all wheel drive, two liter. So this is like a GTST, but all wheel drive. The nice thing is same transmission as a GTR, same drive shaft, all that fun stuff. You know, it, 20 grand to get this back to a functioning GTS4. He, let's say he paid 15 for the car. You're 35 grand back into unfucking your car and having just a stock GTS4. It's not really worth it. And then on top of it, stock GTS4 is boring. So then you're gonna wanna go above and beyond. So we talked about the car. He said, keep the car. I'm just gonna buy something cooler. So I kind of pushed this off and we haven't touched it, but it's been, bugging me because I have this car and I'm so tempted to build this with the cage, uh, but I'd have to cut out the cage because I don't want a race car. I decided to see where we're at with this and I don't think it's gonna hurt us to strip off all the bullshit and see what we have for bones. We've never seen this car on the lift. We've never, I mean, it just looks so bad that you think it's totaled, but realistically, you replace some parts and scrape that shit off the quarter panels and paint the car, you might have an okay car. Uh, we don't do that for customers because I'm not gonna just like chotch job a car like this for for platinum Mike Perry I'm not trying to get punched in the jaw, but 
for my own uh, well-being, my own my own brain, I'd like to see what this is possible, what's possible with this, and what's under all this bullshit. So uh, let's just strip it down. Let's get everything out of the interior. Alex will help us. Michael film from a distance, and uh, let's just see if this thing's got okay bones. That's not even to this vehicle. There's shit in here that's not even to this vehicle. There's some garbage in here. What is this? Like a tow hook or something? Oh my. Think he needs this? Is it? Is it? This isn't Skyline. Just chilling on the destroyed front seat. So fucked. So close to making it in the original holes. How annoying. Get free. Maybe I lied. You're gonna have to leverage it. So pull, walk it towards me. Don't feel bad. Don't be gentle. Good shape still. You want these? Yeah. Hell yeah. Rocker looks great, except for there's a little dented up there. Yeah. Not a big deal. Hell yeah. Let's get that fender off. This ain't the tool. Rusty, and then it just fucking split away from the the floor. What did? The pitch was ripped apart. Really? And the rocker is up into the inner rocker. Someone just jacked it up like an idiot. Yeah. Thick shit's hard. Probably doing damage to the body with this thing is a gnarly tool, but honestly. What is this tool? Let me see if Josh has a secret for it. For sale, GTST wide body, right? Yes, sir. You run this, right? Oh, yeah. Don't put it on nothing. <laughs> so that sucked. I got a little uh, blister. And this is what it looks like, not ruined. Watch, I'll step back for a second. Took off uh, about 30 pounds of spray foam insulation. 
See the quarter panel, like obviously it was tagged here. It's a bunch of body work, like rusty, but even scratching, I didn't get like much Bondo or anything. No, it's not bad. So I don't know what they were doing. I mean, this is all been, this is all filler here. Yeah, it's just light though. It's, you know, it's not like inches thick like I thought it would be. Anyway, so we're gonna address uh, some rust underneath, see what that looks like. But I don't know how I'm gonna ever heal from this. My hands aren't used to this kind of damage. You wanna come bend this fucking pinch weld straight? Right at the front is rotted, got a nice size hole in it. And then right where the uh, frame rail welds to the floor pan is starting to rot down there too. It's like an S chassis? Yeah. Yo, you think this intercooler is supposed to be twisted like that? Nope, that's fucked. <laughs> Look at this mic. See how it's like twisted? Yeah, I got hit. You can tell. Yeah. You can tell from this coupler being like pinched in and shit. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad the piping's still good though, because I like the piping. Yeah, it's got some yeah. the factory piping. So what's we'll the move? We'll get the rest of the shit off, seal the rear up, and put it back outside. How you tell me? I think that's the move. All right, so got the fenders off, got the bumper off, got all the shit off, assessed it. Like you just heard Alex say, there's rot all underneath. The pinch welds are pushed up and split. Um, there's like a, there's the rocker's gone in the back. We kind of expected this, but like until we tore into it, we had no idea. Obviously, I was dreaming of a possibility of removing all the shit and having a beautiful car underneath that just needs a paint job. It's not the case. So this is still destined for a part out um, because there's just no point. There's no point in trying to resurrect this thing while we have so many better, better cars. Like a GTR in this condition might be worth it. A GTS4. Definitely not, especially one with a sunroof, because we hate sunroofs. So, just wanted to assess this, get the garbage off of it, reseal it so it stops collecting water. Um, we're gonna put the back windows back in and just tape them in. Uh, we'll put the rear window in, tape that in so it's safe. But this thing's it's destined to be cut up into little tiny pieces and used to resurrect GTRs. The cool thing about this is it is an all-wheel drive car, so the transmission is the same as GTR. It has 430 final drives in the front pan, in the front diff and the rear diff, so that's really cool for five-speed GTRs. Uh, this is the only place you can get matching um, diffs or ring and pinions. Uh, and then there's a ton of like patch panels possible. We can take the radiator support from this. It's got headlights, it's got a hood latch, it's got AC stuff, it's got a good working RB20, even though it's all-wheel drive. Um, I didn't even think that's kind of a dead end unless you have another GTS4, but uh, Wiring harness, I bet you the chassis harness in this is almost identical to a GTR minus the triple meters So a lot of cool stuff a lot of useless stuff a lot of stuff you might need but We are going to scrape the rest clean up the mess put the windows back in and put it back outside Which is kind of sad because I was hoping this video would turn into a restoration video That was like my goal It's like oh cool the car's beautiful, let's restore it. Uh, if Mike, if you're watching, you made the right decision, because this thing, it's just, any rust on the floor immediately kills the car. You've got to start welding in floor panels, and like I said, GTR, maybe, if you're crazy. GTS4, no sir. So we'll get this thing good, we'll get outside and get a final shot of it. So we decided we want this car to be able to move under its own power. We looked in the bin, Seems pretty easy. So we're gonna just try to throw the turbo on, throw the intercooler piping in, crank this bitch. Let's see what happens. So we broke my ankle on that foam. But whoever charged it left it all together. So we're not gonna do this like correct. Right? Right, Alex? Right. Just checking. Oh, the lines are cut. Hoses. Oh, they're just hoses. Duh. Okay. That's easy. So, this is just gonna go in. Let's do that.
pretty quickly. We got the turbo back in. Uh, we haven't bolted it in or anything or set anything up, but it's in. So we should be able to do this rather quickly. It's, since we're chaching it, we're not like looking for perfection out of this. Uh, it'll be more like the gaskets are probably bad. I don't give a fuck. I want it to run and move. And we're gonna swap the wheels. We're gonna take the fender liners off. Uh, take the headlights out. Just take the things that like don't need to be on the car and are easy to store. But um, turbo's in, so that's a success. I'm stoked on that. We have a little plan, obviously. I'm trying to like dick tease you, but we definitely have a plan for what we're about to do. The rear wheels. All right, so I did all the intercooler piping, the intake, all the plumbing. And Alex put a knot on the downpipe. We're trying to figure out how not to make the coolant leak out of the engine because we're not hooking up the coolant to the turbo because the hoses are cut. Uh, what do you think is going to work? Putting that bolt in? Yeah. The fuck are you still standing there for? Because I can't get to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. So uh, we're putting steelies on, donuts on, all four. It's a little damp out. We're going to see if this thing will do some donuts. Donuts on donuts. And we have to change that driver's seat because I'm not getting in that fucking thing. Oh, they're right out there. Ugh. Chip knob. There it is. Put that fucking Nismo one on this. The Nismo uh, seat? No, that Nismo Jericon. Shit there. It'll get eight. So, I don't want to get eight, bro. Oh, the carpet's wet. It's wet? Yeah. Did you touch it with your skin? Yeah. Ooh, you don't want to touch that with your skin. Skin to skin contact is never good. Carpet to skin contact is never good. Yeah. It smells different yes. when this stuff gets wet. Skin to skin contact is... That's how you get AIDS. Yeah, that's why I don't do it. Don't <laughs> All right, you think it'll do anything? Nope. We got some beef. Is it in gear? Keys in it, right? Yeah. Is it in gear? Okay. Let me get the front. I feel like it has. How's the gas gauge? Uh, barely above E. It's above E, though. I hear the pump raging. Do we have gas here? Yeah, we have bad gas here. That'll be fine. Something just barely unplugged. Here, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> why is this fucking, why is the exhaust leak so bad? Turn it on. Oh. All right, so we doing this? Hang on, let me fucking. I know. Got it. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, the Mike, fucking... you, might, you might need to put the camera. To... Yep. Well, we had a car that sat here for a while that didn't run, now it runs. 
we didn't really couldn't really get all the exhaust stuff on so it's got a crazy leak it's just it just we thought we could get away with it and we just can't but uh it's nice to have a car that used to not move that now moves under its own power i think it's always the goal so we're gonna throw the windows back in just tape them in so this car doesn't just keep getting gross we'll throw these in we'll throw this one in we'll just throw tape around it and uh that's it like i said platinum mike perry made a good call not continuing with this car um it is crusty it is rusty and it will make some gtrs uh alive again it'll 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 re-alive some gtrs it's got a turbo timer but anyway i'm gonna end the video there thanks for watching and uh i'll see you guys next time one more thing i forgot to mention we got to give a massive shout out to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. Thanks again. And if you want to get 10% off your Ridge Wallet, links in the description. Click it, buy one. Pretty rad. See you guys next time.